Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Curls Queen. Thank you so much, Curls Queen, for sponsoring this video. Starting right off in your bag, you get a dimming brush. We're gonna be reviewing some beautiful clippings today. You also have this very cute reversible bonnet, like with the drawstring and everything. Like you can have it this way or you can turn it inside out and flip it this way for this color. Super cute, absolutely love it. Y'all know that is my color right now. Then you get extra clips and I just put everything back in the baggie, check, make sure there's nothing left. Your clippings come in this cute little baggie, sales curls queen, okay? Brandon is on point here, top tier. Um, the clippings I have, this is basically like one bundle of curly clippings. All the description, all the information about the hair will be down in the description box below for the exact length and what they exactly call this. Um, I do know though, I did opt for these clip-ins i wanted to review these because look how seamless they are they are really flat not bulky you can't really tell so i definitely wanted to get my hands on these and the curl pattern is immaculate so as always before you install any hair you need to definitely wash it but for sure curly hair to get the curls popping to see how you want everything to look so that's exactly what i did i wet the hair first then i went in with my favorite shampoo and conditioner which is the aussie brand i went ahead and shampooed the hair first look at that all of those suds and the hair was like super soft during this whole process then after the shampoo i did go ahead and decided to use some conditioner i'm using their little detangling brush that they sent out always start from the bottom to the top especially with curly hair and when i use conditioner though i don't always start from the bottom to the top because the hair is like extra extra soft with conditioner on the inside so there's really no need to just kind of start from the top and go to the bottom because it's not going to get tangled or nothing once your hair is all shampooed and conditioned, then I did let the hair just go ahead and sit to the side and slightly kind of air dry. Um, I washed this probably about an hour, hour and a half before I actually decided to install it into my head. And you know, to get the curls popping and stuff, you I like to have my hair kind of damped per se. Um, Cause I, I knew I was originally gonna have to be wetting my real hair as well. So I didn't care to like let this air dry overnight and you know, start the process because I was gonna have to wet my real hair and the clip ins at the same time eventually anyway. After I'm done, I always like to kind of twirl the hair, wring it out, and look how beautiful it looks. Super cute. Then, my hair. I didn't know if I wanted to do a middle part or a side part. Um, since my like last little like curly do was a side part, I decided to just stick with that to kind of mimic that same hairstyle. So this is just the before, how my hair looks with no clip-ins, straight after a good little shampoo condition. <laughs> so side parts are so hard for me because I can never like part my natural hair the right way. Um, but I feel like I did a pretty good job. I was looking at a picture of myself like earlier throughout the year and I think, I think I got it just right. Um, then right here, all I'm doing is kind of just section sectioning off my leave out per se. So since I wanted to do a side part, I had to basically cover the tracks that was going to be behind the part, if that makes sense. So I'm just twisting and braiding down the extra hair. Excuse me. Whew, yeah. And then I like to use my little meal curling, um, lotion. Now, if y'all know me, <laughs> if y'all been subscribed to me for a minute, y'all know your girl cannot cornrow, like, at all. <laughs> I can do a little something, something, but my cornrows are either too big, too small, uneven, you know, that whole jazz. So if you can see, right there, I have a twist. So then I'm like, okay, the twist wasn't really working out for me, so I decided to just braid. I can cornrow, it's just, it normally, like, I can't part by myself so that'd be my downfall so i would recommend you go get your hair you know professionally braided by somebody you know a professional stylist or something like that it'll definitely benefit you in the long run but if you gotta make do with what you got then be like me i'm just bobby pinning it didn't feel like sewing it down because i knew i was going to be taking these clip-ins out you know the next day or so these are the beautiful little clip-ins they are probably about 80 percent dry you know you can still kind of see they're a little bit damped but Super cute, super full, absolutely love. So we're gonna start off with the five clip. There it is, one, two, three, four, and five. Unclip them, and then usually I just like to go 
biggest to small so of course you're going to start with five four three two and then if you have a clip that only has one then you will be using that one and i mean you see what i'm doing just clip it to the back of your head and be generous i will say um since especially because i only have one bundle definitely be generous Using the other, I think that's another five clip. Then I got most of the clips in. Now we're getting close to the side part. Um, this one was a little bit tricky for me simply because I felt like I was running out of clips. Um, for a full look, I would definitely suggest y'all buy two of these instead of just one because you'll see a little bit later that I had to basically remove a clip from the part, remove a clip from my right side and put it on the left side because it was looking a little, you know, a little not full. Right here, I'm just perfecting my part and trying to get my natural hair to kind of mimic this curl pattern. So I like to use water, Aunt Jackie's um, gel, and then I also like to use the Miel curling milk and to kind of get that, you know, curl pattern going. And I was kind of doing my own thing, but I was also kind of curling my real hair in with the um, clip ins as well. This is what I was talking about earlier, um, how I'm kind of just trying to readjust and move things around in my head because I feel like I needed like just one more two clip bundle because it was looking a little, a little thin on that side, like where my edges was. If I had like one more little like two two clip bundle i feel like this would have been on the money nevertheless it still looks good it's just i feel like it'll look more full and more put together and more complete if you will if i would have had like one to maybe like two more clips um so that's why i did suggest you guys to buy two of these instead of just buying one depending on the look you are going for that is This is me just trying to perfect that part in the middle. Um, earlier this year, I did get my hair cut. So the front of my hair is definitely a lot shorter than the rest of my hair. I kind of got my hair cut into not really a bob per se, but definitely cut a lot short into the shape of a side part that was curled. So she kind of did layers on my hair was already kind of like curled and stuff. So that's kind of what I was trying to figure out here. Then I let my hair melt down under this wrap i used um just some got to bleed some got to be glued free spray and the gel and like the aunt jackie's gel and i feel like it turned out really nice it's just that part in the front of my like real hair that was just irking my nerves but other than that i feel like it looks amazing and besides 
me needing like one more little bitty bundle right there in the front this definitely came out to be a 10 out of 10 I definitely recommend so don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe we're going to talk about the hair a little bit after this little portion I'm going to give y'all some cute little b-roll real quick of the hair and yeah I'll see y'all at the end of the video This is me just showing y'all a little, you know, a little, a little one too. Of some more stuff that you can do while your hair is in the side part. I kind of did like a little half up, half down situation. Um, you can leave a bang out if you want and do a half up, half down. There's so many endless options with this. Um, super cute if you want to move like the hair out your face. I think this is super cute. And then I just did a little bitty low bun in the back. So this is the finished result. <laughs> Sorry for the, you know, glare in my glasses from the ring light, but this is the finished result. I would have liked it to be two packs of the hair so I can get more of a full look. I had to kind of, I'm pretty sure voice over care told y'all. I kind of had to basically finesse this side. Like I pulled a two, two track out. What I'm trying to say, two clip track out. <laughs> so I pulled the one with two clips from over here and put it over here because this side wasn't giving enough fullness even though I got a side part. Um, but this side I needed like a little bit more. So overall, I still, I feel like I still got a few gaps in here, but since the hair is curly and big, I feel like it shouldn't be too noticeable. But if you are looking to get this, I would suggest you buy two bundles instead of just one. Um, depending on your hairstyle too, if you're trying to wear it like this and how I did instead of putting the bundles inside of your hair, like the clippings inside of your hair, then you may only need one. But if you decide to braid down or twist down your hair, just keep out the perimeter up here, kind of like a sew in with a leave out. I suggest getting two because you would definitely want that fuller look. But all in all, I like it. It's cute. Very minimal shedding. Can't really complain. So yeah, it's super cute, flowy. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And all the details for this hair will be down in the description box below. And that's my next one. I will see you lovelies then. Bye guys.